Okay, hold up. Let's just forget about all the tricks, the cinematics and all the fanciful flying for just a minute. For this episode, let's get all you DJI FPV pilots up there in the sky in manual mode. Intro, please. Hey what's up, The Real Rahim here and great to have you guys here for another tutorial episode where right now I'm all into about the DJI FPV and so if you're not subscribed, do subscribe and follow me for future content. Okay, so recently I met up with a few pilots who are just warming up with the DJI FPV drone. They are either still in normal mode or already on sport mode but ultimately you want to get yourself into manual mode so that you can fully utilize the maximum potential of the drone in full acrobatic mode. I mean that's the reason why you bought the drone in the first place, isn't it? Right now the limitation for them, for us, uh, myself inclusive, is that um, I'm an Android user and there isn't a SIM that is ready for Android yet. Uh, I hope they will come, DJI will come about with the SIM uh, in the near future. There are other SIMs out there but that I'll save for a different topic totally. So let's go old school a bit. I'll just have to guide you by the hand um, into acro mode and that's the whole purpose of today's episode. By the way, the DIY FPV pilots um, also use the term acro for manual mode. Uh, also known as raid mode. So I'll be using this word acro loosely as we go along the tutorial. Okay, so here's some quick notes before we get into the tutorial itself. Where you're used to in normal and sport mode, moving the drone forward is just pushing the sticks front and reversing the drone is going to be pulling back at the sticks. Now this is going to be a attitude change of the drone. If you were to push the sticks forward and bring it back to center, the drone will not um, level out. It will continue in that angle that you left it at and it will just continue moving forward or backward whatever the direction is. The left stick is no longer gonna be a high adjustment where you're used to pushing forward to bring the drone higher and pulling it back to bring the drone lower. Now this is gonna be throttle. Your start stop okay double tap is now gonna be starting of the motors and also killing the motors and so you should never double tap while you're in mid-air there is the scroll button now this button will come alive um, and especially useful when you're flying the drone all right um, i bring you to an example where so here's where i go on to the next point and also bringing back the arrow stickers that were from the past tutorials for example the drone camera angle you've set at 30 degrees, right? It's gonna be fixed, right? It's not gonna be um, self-leveling as in normal or sport mode. So if you were to set it at like, for example, follow me and I'm at 30 degrees, um, pitching the drone forward so that you can get the horizon level and then fly towards the horizon, right? This is the angle of what the drone is gonna be like. So that means it's going to be moving forward in this manner. That's how um, we, we set the camera angle and that decides on how fast we will fly the drone. On the fly, you can actually adjust the camera angle by the scroll and so that will help you to either fly faster or fly slower. And that points to the final note is that the drone will not self-level like in normal or sport mode. And that means that if you were to leave it pitched forward in this manner, it will continue moving forward and will not return, uh, flatten itself out, right? So that's the thing, uh, the beauty of uh, acro mode, but at the same time, it's for you to expect that every single movement of the drone is for you to control and there won't be any auto um, leveling and self-balancing uh, included in the flight itself. Rahim, can we get on with the tutorial, please? Yes, let's go. So now first up is your setup of the controls. Now the stock settings for your M mode on the controller is actually sport mode. It's kind of a safety feature so you don't accidentally switch it and then have a hard time handling the drone. You will go to control settings under the custom settings for the controller and then change that custom settings instead of sport mode to manual mode. That will be the first step you'll do. Now the second thing for you to do is then go over to the same under the same control settings. Um, you will see a gain and expo setting where within it is a attitude limit um, switch. Um, if you keep the switch on, you will be able to fly in manual mode but just that um, there will be a limit right to how much the drone can go on either side be it pitch or roll this is to prevent you from going into a crazy spin up in the air all right on your first go but if you're confident and you already had enough practice this is where you can switch off the attitude limit and that will allow the drone to do all those um, 
flips, inverts and dives, alright, um, in whatever direction that you push the drone to be. Now this next thing is also optional, you can make adjustments by the stick feel, by loosening the pad behind here and then tightening some of the uh, bolts behind. What that will do is actually, instead of having an auto center return sticks like this, now you can have a throttle that is uh, free moving, alright, there's no restriction, it will just stay wherever you left it at. Um, I know I, in a previous video I told you that I kind of want to loosen it up but still be able to hold center the stick uh, for my left sticks uh, but eventually I felt that um, some of the modes I don't use often enough and I might, I might as well have a full feel of a FPV um, controls where the left being a throttle there is no restriction I can fully move it from 0 to 100 and stay anywhere in between now as safety for flying in singapore altitude for uavs are set at 60 meters all right that's about 200 feet so go into your settings and change the altitude uh, limits to 60 meters um, know that um, that if you go beyond the 60 meter mark the drone will go autonomous it will fully be automated it will just bring itself down to 60 meters and then you'll regain control again but of course if you are in manual mode um, by default it will revert back to normal mode you'll have to toggle the switch and then um, reset yourself into manual mode and continue flying which now brings us to the next part which is lift off and uh, unlocking the manual mode in the air know that it is perfectly fine for you to launch the drone in normal mode or sport mode once you get that done uh, once you're up in the air you can go to a starting point maybe at the at the edge of a field of a very big field if you if you can have access to one and then you can hover there now whenever you're ready you can flip the switch in manual mode and the camera angle will actually adjust itself to whatever preset um, angle that you have put it at your camera angle will lock in place and this is actually the point where you can make changes to your camera angle by toggling the scroll switch on your remote controller i recommend for a first time pilot into manual go at 10 or 20 degrees uh, as for myself i'm already at 30 degrees and that's a comfortable uh, angle for myself okay once that is set and done take a deep breath this next step will fully unlock you into manual mode in the goggles you'll have to bring the sticks to a predetermined position where the right sticks are in the center and slightly lower uh, the left stick from the center into a green zone just hold it there for about two seconds and the goggles will then tell you that manual mode is unlocked now this is where you want to move the drone forward you'll have to nudge the right stick just a bit and bring it back to center and congrats you are now in manual flight so out on the field flipping to manual mode okay right now i'm set at 30 degrees um as you can see on the on the screen there are there are the sticks right uh, the stick overlay so you need to bring your throttle stick to the green zone okay and so you're off in manual so let me just bring you to a safe zone and then i'll just show you um, how manual flight is gonna be so here's a safe spot okay i'm just gonna hover in place uh watch me as i push on the right stick and bring it back to center see the drone will start moving forward now um the drone has some imbalance or maybe it's countering some wind so you gotta play with the sticks a bit If you were to roll right or roll left, see the drone will just stay there until you give it a further command. Which is for making turns, you're going to combine actually a roll and a yaw. So if you were to do it step by step, it will look like this, a bit weird. But if you were to make a left roll and left yaw, combine it together, then the drone will make a nice smooth turn. Okay, roll your do some figure eights switch over to roll and then your okay maybe uh, as a as a pincher i got a lot of stuff blocking the way so i'm gonna go to thumb mode now okay so let's do that again roll your makes a good turn roll your makes a good turn Alright, um, so that's just uh, some basics on getting the drone moving about. Uh, of course, if you want to adjust the height, now your left stick is no longer going to be 
altitude control, your left stick is going to be throttle. Right? So, how you're going to change your altitude is really like just flying downwards or flying upwards. Okay, I show you again. I fly downwards, fly upwards. Oh, what a sunset! Okay, I'm gonna come in for the landing. Uh, I'll see you back in the studio. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up by just saying that manual mode or acro mode is really a free form of acrobatic flying. Now, um, it will really test your ability to fly this drone um, in any direction to your willing. Uh, and of course, as the more you fly in acro mode, there'll be more chances for you to crash this drone. And we all know that this drone doesn't really take uh, crashes very well. So do take the time to practice. Take it slow, take it steady at your own pace. Anyways, here's a suggestion. Leave a comment down below. Share with me how was your first experience in acro flight. And not only do I get to read it, but also others in the community. This helps us grow this community together. Oh, and by the way, I do read all your comments, even the hit ones. So do chat with me there. All right, that's all I have. I just wanted to bring more FPV pilots into the scene. So hopefully um, by after watching this tutorial, you can then transition from normal and sport mode into FPV mode and manual mode and kind of by like me holding your hand and bringing you through this journey so um, if you've liked the video do give it a thumbs up now if you've not subscribed i'll be making more content in the future so i hope you can follow me by subscribing down below chat with me in the comment section and as always i'll see you in the skies peace done on purpose because i want to try out the turtle mode which i have customized manual mode press one time oh